This might shock you, but if you're seeing this video, it's not by chance, it's a clear message from the universe. You are being called into something greater, something profound, and it's time to embrace it. Your gifts, your true essence, are being unlocked, and the key to this awakening lies within a divine union. You are royalty in every sense of the word, and the power that comes with this realization is more significant than you may know. If you're here, if this message resonates even slightly, trust that you're being guided by something far greater than the mundane. This is about your spiritual journey, your soul's purpose, and your divine potential coming to life. Pause for a moment, before we dive deeper into this. If this message touches your spirit, take a moment to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment with the number 77. This number will serve as a signal to the universe, confirming that you're ready to receive and step into your divine role. And here's something powerful. Watch this video repeatedly. Play it in the background, while you're working, even as you sleep. Each time you listen, you're reinforcing this truth in your energy field, allowing your gifts to activate and the divine energy to work through you. Now, let's get started. Chapter 1 recognizing the divine call. Every day, we move through life, often unaware of the subtle shifts happening around us, strange dreams, thoughts, or coincidences that seem too perfect to ignore. Maybe you've noticed these patterns and feel like you're seeing life differently than those around you. These experiences aren't random. As a chosen one, your higher self and the universe begin communicating with you, signaling that your gifts are awakening. This awakening is deeply tied to something called divine union, which transcends romantic relationships. Divine union represents the merging of your soul's purpose with a higher force, a connection that is not limited to just one person, but can be with your higher self, ancestors, or the universe itself. It's a bond that helps reveal your inner potential and activates your higher purpose in ways you may not fully comprehend yet. If you've felt the pull towards something greater, it's because you're destined for something extraordinary. When divine unions occur, they serve as powerful catalysts for transformation. These unions help unlock your gifts, empower your soul, and remind you of your true nature, your inner royalty. They reflect back the greatness that's already within you, revealing the deep potential you've always carried but may not have fully recognized. This is why, as a chosen one, your gifts are closely tied to these divine connections. Whether it's to a person, a spiritual experience, or a profound insight, the universe is aligning everything to guide you toward your true destiny. You may find that certain people, events, or opportunities are being presented to you now more than ever. These are not coincidences. They are part of the larger plan to awaken your soul's purpose. The universe is aligning the right people and situations to help you grow, learn, and step into your royal destiny. But in order to fully embrace this, you must pay attention to these signs and trust the process. The path may not always be clear, but rest assured, everything is unfolding exactly as it should. Trust that your journey is designed to awaken the full extent of who you are. Divine unions serve as mirrors, reflecting back your greatness and inner royalty. Every challenge, every synchronicity is preparing you for the role you are meant to play in the world. Your gifts are being unlocked, and your higher self is guiding you towards your purpose. This is your time to step into your power, embrace your royalty, and trust that everything is happening for your highest good. You are being called to recognize the divine within you and around you. Trust the signs, embrace the journey, and know that your soul's purpose is unfolding before you. This is your moment to rise and claim your royal destiny. Chapter 2 The Power of Divine Alignment As a chosen one, your journey is not random. The universe has been working behind the scenes to align you with your purpose, and one of the most profound ways this happens is through divine alignment. You may have noticed that certain events in your life seem to have occurred at just the right time. 
Perhaps you've met people who seemed to show up exactly when you needed them or stumbled upon opportunities that felt like they were meant for you. This is the power of divine alignment in action. Divine alignment is when the universe arranges circumstances, relationships, and experiences to support your highest good. It's as though life is orchestrating itself to bring you closer to your purpose, and each step you take moves you further along your destined path. As a chosen one, these alignments are not accidental. They are deliberate. The universe knows exactly what you need to unlock your gifts, and it ensures that everything you experience serves that purpose. This alignment is closely tied to your divine union, which is another key to unlocking your gifts. Whether this union is with another soul, your higher self, or a combination of forces, it is the catalyst that activates the power within you. The more aligned you are with your soul's purpose, the more you will notice things falling into place with little effort. It's as if the universe is clearing the path, guiding you with subtle, and sometimes not so subtle, nudges in the right direction. But here's the catch. Divine alignment requires your participation. You must be willing to trust the process and follow the signs. This is not always easy, especially when the path ahead feels uncertain or when you are asked to step outside of your comfort zone. However, it's in these moments of discomfort that the magic happens. The universe is guiding you toward your highest potential, but you have to take the steps necessary to meet it halfway. Sometimes, divine alignment may look like a door closing, a relationship ending, or an opportunity slipping through your fingers. This can feel frustrating, but it's important to remember that these seemingly negative experiences are often redirections. The universe knows what's best for your soul's growth, and sometimes that means removing things from your life that no longer serve you. When you trust in the process, even when it's difficult, you create space for something better to take its place. If you've been experiencing these shifts, whether it's relationships falling away, changes in your career, or a sudden sense of urgency to pursue a new direction, know that this is part of the divine plan. You are being realigned with your true purpose, and these changes are helping you unlock the gifts that are tied to your royal destiny. The universe is constantly working in your favor aligning everything perfectly to help you step into your role as a chosen one. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you. They are not random. They are clues from the universe that you are on the right path. Repeating numbers, chance encounters, and sudden bursts of inspiration are all signals that divine alignment is at work in your life. The more you tune into these signs, the more you will see how everything is connected and the easier it will be to trust the process, even when it doesn't make sense to your logical mind. This divine alignment is also where your gifts begin to emerge. As you step into alignment with your purpose, you will start to notice new abilities coming to the surface. Perhaps your intuition becomes stronger, or you start to have vivid dreams that seem to offer guidance. Maybe you find yourself drawn to certain spiritual practices, or you begin to feel a deeper connection to nature and the world around you. These are all signs that your gifts are being activated. Divine alignment also enhances your ability to manifest. When you are in alignment with your soul's purpose, the universe responds to your intentions with incredible speed and precision. This is because you are no longer working against the flow of life. Instead, you are moving in harmony with it. Your thoughts, feelings, and actions are aligned with your highest good, and as a result, you become a powerful co-creator with the universe. However, with this power comes responsibility. As a chosen one, you are being called to use your gifts for the greater good. Divine alignment is not just about personal gain, it's about stepping into your role as a leader, a healer, or a guide for others. Your gifts are not meant to be hidden or used selfishly. They are meant to be shared with the world, to help raise the vibration of the planet, and to support others on their own spiritual journeys. So, as you continue to experience divine alignment in your life, trust that you are being guided exactly where you need to be. 
Every challenge, every setback, and every success is part of the larger plan to help you unlock your gifts and step into your royal destiny. Embrace the process, even when it feels uncertain, and know that the universe is always working in your favor. You are exactly where you need to be, and your gifts are being unlocked with each step you take on this path. Chapter 3. Awakening to Your Royal Nature one of the most profound realizations you'll have as a chosen one is the recognition of your royal nature. You may have felt different from others for much of your life, sensing that you were meant for something greater but unable to fully grasp what it was. The truth is, you are royalty, not in the physical sense of crowns and titles, but in the spiritual sense. Your soul carries the lineage of greatness, and it is your divine right to step into that power. Awakening to your royal nature means reclaiming your sovereignty. It means recognizing that you are not a victim of your circumstances, but a powerful creator of your reality. This shift in perspective is transformative because it allows you to take control of your life in a way that aligns with your soul's highest purpose. When you embrace your royal nature, you begin to see yourself as the powerful being you truly are capable of manifesting your desires and creating a life of abundance, joy, and fulfillment. But with this realization comes responsibility. As a chosen one, you are being called to rise above the limitations of the past and step into your role as a leader. This doesn't necessarily mean leading in a traditional sense, like becoming a public figure or a boss. It means leading by example, living your life in alignment with your truth and showing others what is possible when they, too, embrace their royal nature. The journey to awakening your royal nature often begins with a deep inner transformation. You may find that old beliefs, patterns, and habits no longer serve you. You might start to feel the need to release relationships, environments, or situations that keep you small or hinder your growth. This is because your soul is calling you to step into your full power, and anything that doesn't align with that will naturally fall away. This can be a challenging process, as it often involves letting go of the familiar and stepping into the unknown. But it is also a necessary one. In order to fully awaken to your royal nature, you must release anything that holds you back from claiming your sovereignty. This includes fear, doubt, and limiting beliefs about what you are capable of. When you let go of these lower energies, you create space for your true power to emerge. Awakening to your royal nature also means embracing your divine gifts. These gifts are the tools you will use to fulfill your purpose as a chosen one. They may include heightened intuition, healing abilities, creative talents, or the power to inspire and uplift others. Whatever your gifts may be, they are unique to you, and they are meant to be shared with the world. It's important to remember that your royal nature is not about superiority or ego. It's about embodying the highest version of yourself and using your gifts to serve others. This is the true essence of royalty, leading with love, compassion, and wisdom. When you awaken to your royal nature, you step into your role as a leader not by dominating others but by empowering them to recognize their own greatness. As you continue on this journey, you will begin to notice changes in how you view yourself and the world around you. You will start to see the world through the lens of abundance rather than lack, and you will begin to attract people, opportunities, and experiences that align with your royal nature. This is because the universe responds to the energy you put out, and when you step into your power, you naturally attract more of what supports your growth and expansion. Awakening to your royal nature is a lifelong journey, but each step you take brings you closer to fully embodying your true self. It's a process of peeling back the layers of conditioning and societal expectations to reveal the powerful, sovereign being that you have always been. And as you continue to awaken, you will find that your gifts become stronger, your purpose becomes clearer, and your life becomes a reflection of the royalty that you are. So, as you move forward on this path, remember that you are royalty. You are a chosen one, and your gifts are being unlocked with the divine union that is unfolding in your life. 
Trust in the process, embrace your royal nature, and know that the universe is supporting you every step of the way. Chapter 4. Embracing Your Divine Union A divine union is more than just a partnership. It's a merging of souls on a deep, spiritual level. Whether this union manifests through a relationship with another person or through your connection with the universe and your higher self, it is a powerful force that accelerates your spiritual growth and helps unlock your divine gifts. When you experience a divine union, you are not just coming together with another being, you are aligning with the higher purpose of your soul. This union acts as a mirror, reflecting back to you the parts of yourself that are ready to be healed transformed, and awakened. It's through this process that you unlock the full potential of your gifts and step into your role as a chosen one. Divine unions are often intense, as they bring to the surface everything that needs to be addressed in order for you to step into your power. This can include unresolved emotions, past traumas, and limiting beliefs that have been holding you back. However, it's important to remember that this intensity is a gift. It's through this process of purification and transformation that you are able to step into your true power. In a divine union, both individuals are called to rise to their highest potential. This doesn't mean that the journey will always be smooth or easy. In fact, divine unions often involve challenges and obstacles that test your faith and commitment to your spiritual path. But these challenges are opportunities for growth and they serve as catalysts for deeper awakening. If you are currently in a divine union with another person, you may have noticed that this relationship feels different from anything you've experienced before. There is a sense of deep familiarity, as though you've known this person for lifetimes. You may also feel a strong sense of purpose and mission together, as if you were meant to create something significant in the world. This is because divine unions are not just about personal fulfillment. They are about fulfilling a greater purpose together. Even if you are not currently in a romantic relationship, you can still experience a divine union. This union can manifest through your connection with your higher self, your ancestors, or the universe itself. The key is to recognize that this union is a sacred partnership. One that is designed to help you unlock your divine gifts and step into your royal destiny. When you embrace your divine union, you open yourself up to the full power of the universe. You begin to see life from a higher perspective, and you become a channel for divine energy to flow through you. This is where your gifts are fully activated, and you are able to step into your role as a chosen one with confidence and clarity. Divine unions are also about balance, balancing the masculine and feminine energies within yourself and within your partnerships. These energies are not about gender, they are about the qualities of action and receptivity, logic and intuition, strength and vulnerability. When you bring these energies into balance, you create a harmonious flow that allows you to fully embrace your gifts and fulfill your purpose. As you continue to embrace your divine union, you will find that your life begins to flow more effortlessly. You will attract people, opportunities, and experiences that align with your soul's purpose, and you will feel a deep sense of fulfillment and joy. This is because you are in alignment with the universe, and everything in your life is supporting your growth and expansion. Remember, your divine union is a gift. It is a sacred partnership that is designed to help you unlock your gifts, step into your royal nature, and fulfill your soul's mission. Embrace this union with an open heart, and trust that the universe is guiding you every step of the way. Chapter 5. Activating Your Spiritual Gifts As you continue on your journey of awakening, you will begin to notice that your spiritual gifts are becoming more prominent. These gifts are unique to you and they are the tools you will use to fulfill your purpose as a chosen one. Whether your gifts include heightened intuition, healing abilities, or creative talents, they are being activated through your divine union and the alignment of your soul's purpose. Your spiritual gifts are not random. They are the result of lifetimes of growth, learning, and evolution. You have been preparing for this moment, 
and now that your gifts are being unlocked, it's time to embrace them fully. However, this process of activation requires you to be open, receptive, and willing to step into your power. One of the most important aspects of activating your spiritual gifts is trust. You must trust that you are capable of using these gifts and that the universe is supporting you in this process. Doubt and fear can block the flow of divine energy, so it's important to release any limiting beliefs that may be holding you back from fully embracing your gifts. As your gifts begin to awaken, you may experience certain sensations or shifts in your energy. You might notice that your intuition becomes stronger, that you have vivid dreams, or that you start to pick up on the emotions and energies of those around you. These are all signs that your gifts are being activated, and they are part of the process of stepping into your role as a chosen one. Another important aspect of activating your spiritual gifts is practice. Just as with any skill, your gifts become stronger the more you use them. Whether it's through meditation, energy work, or creative expression, the more you engage with your gifts, the more powerful they will become. Trust that you have everything you need within you to fully activate your gifts and use them for the highest good. Your gifts are not just for you, they are meant to be shared with the world. As a chosen one, you have a responsibility to use your gifts to uplift, heal, and inspire others. This is why it's so important to embrace your gifts fully and to trust that the universe is guiding you in this process. The more you share your gifts with others, the more they will grow, and the more you will step into your role as a leader and healer. As you continue to activate your spiritual gifts, you will notice that your life begins to align more and more with your soul's purpose. You will attract people, opportunities, and experiences that support your growth and expansion, and you will feel a deep sense of fulfillment and joy. This is because you are in alignment with your true self, and you are using your gifts to fulfill your divine mission. Trust that your gifts are being unlocked at exactly the right time, and that you are fully supported in this process. You are a chosen one, and your gifts are a reflection of your royal nature. Embrace them with confidence, and know that the universe is guiding you every step of the way. Chapter 6 Overcoming the Challenges of the Chosen Path The path of the Chosen One is often filled with challenges, tests, and obstacles that can feel overwhelming. You may find yourself facing difficulties that seem insurmountable, questioning whether you are truly on the right path. These challenges are not a sign that you are failing but rather an essential part of your journey. The universe uses these tests to strengthen you, to refine your gifts, and to prepare you for the greatness that lies ahead. As you awaken to your royal nature and embrace your divine union, you are also stepping into greater responsibility. This responsibility is not only to yourself but to the collective energy of the universe. You are being called to stand strong in your truth, even when the world around you may not understand or support your journey. This can be isolating at times, but it's important to remember that you are not alone. Every chosen one has faced these same trials, and it is through these challenges that your gifts become even more powerful. One of the most significant challenges on the chosen path is the need for healing. As you continue to awaken, Old wounds, traumas, and limiting beliefs will rise to the surface. These are the energies that have been blocking your gifts, and they must be healed and released in order for you to step fully into your power. This process can be painful, as it often requires you to confront parts of yourself that you've long ignored or suppressed. But this healing is necessary, and it is one of the most important aspects of your journey. In these moments of healing, it's important to practice compassion toward yourself. You are not expected to be perfect, and the universe does not ask you to move through this journey without feeling pain or doubt. The key is to allow yourself to feel these emotions fully, without judgment, and to understand that they are a natural part of your growth. By facing these challenges with courage and grace, you are able to transmute them into wisdom and strength. Another common challenge on the chosen path is the feeling of isolation. 
As you awaken and your consciousness expands, you may find that you no longer resonate with the people, environments, or activities that once brought you comfort. This can lead to a sense of loneliness or feeling misunderstood by those around you. However, this period of isolation is also a gift, as it allows you to go inward and strengthen your connection with your higher self and the universe. During these times of solitude, you may discover that your inner world is rich with wisdom and guidance. The universe often speaks to you most clearly when you are alone and free from external distractions. This is where you can truly connect with your gifts and receive the insights that will guide you on your path. While it may be difficult at times, trust that this period of isolation is temporary and that it is preparing you for the next phase of your journey. The challenges you face as a chosen one are also opportunities for you to step into your role as a leader. You are being asked to rise above the limitations of the physical world and to trust in the higher plan that is unfolding for you. This requires a deep level of faith, not only in the universe but in yourself. You must believe that you are capable of handling whatever comes your way and that each challenge is helping you grow stronger and more aligned with your soul's purpose. One of the most powerful ways to overcome these challenges is through the practice of surrender. Surrendering does not mean giving up or resigning yourself to fate. Rather, it means letting go of the need to control every aspect of your journey and trusting that the universe is guiding you exactly where you need to be. When you surrender to the flow of life, you open yourself up to receive the support, guidance, and blessings that are available to you. It's also important to remember that you are not meant to do this journey alone. As a chosen one, you are part of a larger community of souls who are also awakening to their gifts and stepping into their royal nature. While you may feel isolated at times, there are others out there who are on the same path as you. Seek out these connections, whether through spiritual communities, like-minded individuals, or even online spaces where you can share your experiences and support one another. As you continue to face and overcome the challenges on your path, you will begin to notice that you are becoming stronger, more resilient, and more connected to your divine purpose. Each challenge you face is a stepping stone to greater power and wisdom. Embrace these challenges with the understanding that they are shaping you into the powerful, sovereign being you are destined to become. Remember, the universe does not place challenges in your path to defeat you, but to help you rise. You are a chosen one, and the strength you are cultivating through these experiences is part of your royal nature. Trust that you have everything within you to overcome any obstacle, and that each challenge is bringing you closer to fully embracing your gifts and fulfilling your divine mission. Chapter 7. Stepping into your royal destiny. As you move through the awakening process, face your challenges, and embrace your divine union, you will begin to notice a shift within yourself. This shift marks the final phase of your journey toward fully stepping into your royal destiny. This is the moment when you no longer just believe in your greatness, you embody it. You become a living, breathing manifestation of your soul's purpose and your gifts are fully activated and integrated into every aspect of your life. Stepping into your royal destiny is not just about recognizing your power, it's about using that power to make a positive impact on the world around you. You are here for a reason, and your gifts are not just for your personal growth, they are meant to be shared with others. As a chosen one, you are being called to be a beacon of light, a leader, and a healer in whatever way resonates with your soul. This doesn't mean that you need to be in the spotlight or have a massive following. Your impact can be felt in small, everyday interactions just as much as in grand gestures. The key is to live in alignment with your truth and to use your gifts in service to others. When you do this, you naturally attract abundance, joy, and fulfillment because you are living in harmony with the flow of the universe. As you step into your royal destiny, you will also notice that your energy shifts. You will no longer be affected by the lower vibrations of fear, doubt, or lack. Instead, you will radiate confidence, love, and abundance. 
This energetic shift will attract people, opportunities, and experiences that are aligned with your highest good. You will find that the universe responds to your intentions with speed and precision, because you are now fully aligned with your soul's purpose. However, stepping into your royal destiny also comes with responsibility. You are being called to lead by example, to show others what is possible when they embrace their own gifts and step into their power. This is the essence of true royalty, leading with love, compassion, and wisdom. You are not here to dominate or control others, but to inspire and uplift them. Your presence alone will have a profound impact on those around you, simply because you are living in alignment with your truths. As you continue to step into your royal destiny, you will find that your life begins to flow with greater ease and grace. The challenges that once seemed insurmountable will now be seen as opportunities for growth and expansion. You will no longer be shaken by external circumstances, because you are rooted in the deep knowing of who you are and why you are here. One of the most important aspects of stepping into your royal destiny is self-mastery. This means taking full responsibility for your thoughts, emotions, and actions. As a chosen one, you are a powerful creator, and your energy has a direct impact on the world around you. By mastering yourself, you ensure that you are always operating from a place of love, truth, and integrity. Self-mastery also involves cultivating a deep connection with your higher self and the universe. This connection is the source of your power, and it will guide you on your path. The more you tune into this connection, the more you will be able to access the wisdom, guidance, and support that is available to you at all times. Stepping into your royal destiny also means fully embracing your spiritual gifts. These gifts are the tools you will use to fulfill your purpose, and they are a reflection of your divine nature. Trust that your gifts are exactly what the world needs at this time, and that you are here to make a significant impact. Whether your gifts are related to healing, teaching, creating, or leading, they are unique to you, and they are meant to be shared. As you step into your royal destiny, you will also begin to notice that you are surrounded by a community of like-minded souls. These are the people who are also on the path of awakening, and they will support you, uplift you, and inspire you to continue growing and expanding. This community is an essential part of your journey, as it reminds you that you are not alone and that you are part of something much larger than yourself. In this final phase of your journey, it's important to celebrate how far you've come. You have faced challenges, embraced your divine union, and awakened to your gifts. Now you are stepping into your full power, ready to fulfill your royal destiny. This is a moment of great significance, and it's important to honor yourself for the work you've done and the growth you've achieved. Remember you are royalty. You are a chosen one, and your gifts are a reflection of your divine nature. Trust in the process, embrace your power, and know that the universe is supporting you every step of the way. Your journey is just beginning, and the impact you are destined to make is beyond anything you can imagine. Step into your royal destiny with confidence, and let your light shine brightly for all to see. As we bring this episode to a close, remember that everything you've felt, every shift, every sign, has led you to this moment. You are a chosen one, and the journey you're on is one of immense power and purpose. The challenges, the divine unions, the awakenings, all of it is designed to bring out the royalty within you. Now is the time to embrace your royal destiny fully. The universe is aligning for you, unlocking your gifts, and preparing you for the greatness that lies ahead. This path may not always be easy, but it is yours, and you are more than ready to walk it. If this message has resonated with you, take a moment now to pause. Hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment with the number 77 below to send a signal to the universe that you are ready to claim your royal gifts. Replay this video. Let the energy of this message fill your space, especially as you fall asleep or when you need a reminder of who you truly are. You are here for a reason, and your light is needed in this world. 
Trust in your journey, trust in your gifts, and step boldly into the future that's waiting for you. Thank you for being here, Chosen One. Until next time, may you continue to walk in your power and shine your light. You are royalty, never forget that.